Hello there, fellow Blitz playing femboys. What is your opinion about communism? Put it down in the comments because today I'm gonna have a look at the Kennedy One and Object 252U bundle that has popped up in the shop. 17,500 gold for the vehicles, for camouflages, and four times five boosters that only apply to the tanks. So let's have a look. But the Kennedy One and the Object 2FT are good. What the alternatives are and whether it is even worth it at that price. Now to prepare for this video, I played a lot of battles, and with a lot I mean two. So let's have a look at the Object 252U, because this vehicle is the most generic good tank there is in the game, essentially 1.9 dpm, 420 alpha damage, 0.4 accuracy, 6 degrees of gun depression, powder weight ratio of somewhere around 12, and the armor, that is very good, especially also on the sides for the type of vehicle that it is. Now, what we're going to do here on this map, I'm going to go to the outside here. The enemy team is in the city over there, so that means I can now take map control, and that's what I'm going to do here. Right? I want to go forward, I want to cut off the enemies as much as I can, and just take that map control that to absolutely choke them out. Because if you have the map control, in a lot of cases, you can win pretty well. Now, it's very important, because I'm out here in this situation... To Take a look at the map, and I'm already seeing there's a guy behind me. So I'm turning around now to face that Tiger 2, which is a really good tank. But, because the object to you is quite low, you can just side hug him right here. And then if I drive back and forth along his side, then there isn't really anything he can do about that. He obviously could pen the Capolas, but if I move quickly enough back and forward, he's going to have a really hard time hitting those. So my chance here is to just move back and forth or just also get help from the brass kit which also is very nice so if you're the tiger in this situation you don't want to pick a brawling fight with an object 25 tu so it might not seem that dangerous but it definitely is now the lower plate on this vehicle is very massive and you only have six degrees of gun depression so going hold on in this vehicle isn't going to work side scraping can work really well but you have to still be aware that the side plates uh, still extend upwards which means that you're going to have to be very, very careful with over-angling. Because if you peek out too far while side-scraping, those front plates, they're just going to get penetrated because you poke them out while side-scraping. Now, obviously, I'm going to try to reverse here, trying to get away from the Waffenträger because he just put a shot into my gigantic lower plate. And now, using the Tiger 2 wreck, try to, try to track him here. You know, take away his mobility so he can't attack me further. He just shoots HE for some reason, even though he theoretically could have depressed his gun down. But now... You can already see me. I'm hiding behind the Tiger 2. Uh, because if he turns around, I can hide behind the Tiger 2 and he can't shoot me. And that's that game. Yay. Basically, don't brawl with a 250U. And if you do want to brawl, I'll get the 250U because it's, it's pretty good at that. Especially only outside of a city controlling that area. That is what this thing excels at. But jump scare. Because right after the battle, I got an offer for the Skoda T56. Which is... Very similar to the 2 of TU, as you can see right there. And if you don't care about the Kennedy 1, then this can be a very good offer too at 6.5k. The times 30 are unfortunately locked again. So, uh, but you have the booster, so that's not too bad. And now we're going to look at the Kennedy 1. And now we're going to blur the picture and show you the statistics. And also hide the fact that I kind of blocked the STRVK. But don't pay attention to that. So, basically, 3 auto loader, 2.7k DPM, 0.31 accuracy, 7 degrees of gun depression. That is pretty good. There, the armor on the vehicle, not the greatest. Hull armor can be pent pretty easily. But turret, quite solid. Besides for the sort of plates that stick out a little bit. So you gotta be careful there, but the FE-4202 doesn't pen me there either. Seven degrees of gun depression is a little bit better than the average Soviet vehicle that you have. Uh, definitely better than anything the Karo 45T has to offer, which is one of the very, wow, very worst tier 10s there are, basically. But the Kennedy one, it's a very good vehicle. It's, I don't think it's quite as good as the Object 752, uh, but it is probably the second best tier 9 to purchase in the game. Problem of that is, it's a tier 9, and tier 9s don't do as much damage as a tier 10, and don't get you as much credits as a tier 8, so they're sort of stuck in the middle here, and that's the biggest problem with the vehicle. It is a great tank for what it does, and the auto loader, 2.7k DPM, 350 alpha damage, 1050 in the clip, and the clip reload isn't even that long either. This is a great gun on this thing, and the rest of the platform, the mobility is very solid as well. So, this is a very good platform here. The only downside, obviously, is that it is a tier 9, which is not that great. But, anyway, let's uh, move on. And I see now that the enemy team is sort of pushing around the top, the cap circle. I just don't want to stay there. I don't want to fight that. 
like the enemy pushing into you you don't want the enemies pushing into you you want to be the one that pushing the enemy like you want to take control of the fight if the enemies are coming towards you just go away basically and then a high roll on the type 68 which is very nice very lucky there that you could say you know 2.3k damage three kills what could you want more and there is a camping 1v3 back there so i'm just gonna take some risk drive up here now he's hiding behind a house so i'm just gonna activate my speed boost that this thing has and drive past and here is the e4 who's not looking at me now nope, nope they want to take out the 4202 first right take out the easiest target first the fe steals it but that's fine now he's gone and now i want to focus on the e4 like reverse here stay behind him and then use this dead fe4202 as cover from the e4 because the e4 is going to have a little bit of time that he needs to sort himself out and get his non-fully traversable turret back on form he does penetrate the cupola parts of my turret which is great for him but now i have three shots right here i track him so he can't reverse because also the vk is up there who does shoot me but again i want to track the e4 so that he can't get away and i'm too vulnerable to the vk and now it is a three versus two that's very rare in world tank splits that you're actually having the advantage but i have 300 hit points and i see the vk is just camping me so I'm gonna now i just saw that 183 sort of starting to drive towards the top so i'm just gonna go around the bottom here basically to be good with a vehicle like this with a auto loader that is semi-mobile it's very important to learn to read the battle like where are the enemies going what are they doing where can i get rid of that 1050 clip damage without the enemy doing much damage back in return and or most importantly doing less damage back in return because i'm on 300 hit points here and now I sort of know that the 183 sort of went up there. I can, without a problem, drive back here and uh, now peek the VK and finish him off. And now it is only the 183 remaining. And now it could take the direct route up here. I try to get a shot. He just fired, right? He can't fire back. He can't do anything for the next couple of seconds. But he's now hiding behind the, the rock there. And I don't really want to directly approach him, right? Because that would be the easiest way. That would be the way that he expects the most. So you want to have... Ideally, not the furthest way either, but somewhere in the middle. You don't want to approach um, at the point where the enemy thinks you're approaching from. Because that way, you can just shoot him in the back. Canadian 1, Object 2 FCU. They're both great tanks. Are they worth it? Well, 17.5k. It's a pretty big price. But, if you really want them, they are two pretty good tanks. That's yeah, not too bad of a battle either.